Well, hello everyone, the Ontario Gardener here, back with another brand new automation tutorial. And today we're going to be still working on the brand new, or as brand new, bakery update. And today we're going to be talking about lemon cupcakes. Now, you may say this looks very similar to your cakes. It is very similar, but there's a couple of differences. One is that your cupcake tin has four cupcakes. You're not really portioning slices. You're portioning out the cupcakes, and there's four per tin. The cupcakes cook at 12 seconds instead of 40 some seconds, or, or half of that with the danger hob, so significantly faster. And this is the one set up with your lemon, so it's the same setup as the cakes, except you cannot combine the flavoring onto the cupcake tin. It doesn't do anything. You have to combine them after you portion them so you could rig this up differently to portion you could combine onto the portioner but it's more recommended to keep this type of setup combine onto the grabber we're going to let this go this one will work a lot quicker now as with the cakes you have to combine ingredients in this fashion if you have combiners one feeding to the next to the next to the next without them feeding like this what will happen is your sugar when all the bowls are being used your sugar will combine with the egg and that will break your system so Keep that in mind. This is a system that never breaks. It has a couple extra components. I mean, you could you could use a counter here. It doesn't matter what this is. Let's watch. So you're going to portion it. Boom. Flavoring when you hit the conveyor or the corner grabber. And there you go. Now, you have to flavor them before they go into the prep station. Uh, if you have a setup like this, you could flavor them after they come out of the initial prep station. So this would lend itself more if you have some kind of triple automation setup, which... Uh, no spoiler, keep in mind about having all all the flavors. You could basically funnel all these into each individual prep station, and then they could funnel out to your flavorings that way. It, 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 I mean, it's a bit, it's a bigger of a setup, but it's, it can be done. Again, no spoilers, but stay tuned for the, uh, the triple cupcake setup. But this is basically it. It's a lot easier to portion cupcakes, and they cook so much faster, as you can see here. And as you can see here, this is now the second time around or third time around. One, two, three, four, third or fourth time around for these bowls. And guess what? Nothing is combining with the eggs until it's supposed to, which boom, flour, boom, sugar, combining on the mixer. So the mixer is doing double duty, but the mixer will never jam up because you see how long it takes for this setup to go through. And even if I take a couple cupcakes off of this and just move them out of the way, these are your lemon flavor, and you can tell they're lemon because it has the L above them, of course. And there you go, guys. Uh, let's do the last one, maybe, just to get the um, the cake pan to to cycle through one more time, just to show you that it actually does work without breaking flawlessly. It combines the flour, then the sugar, then the egg, and then it mixes on the egg. And this is, to me, the flawless way to do this where nothing backs up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of this. You can just take notes if you want. Take a screenshot if you like to replicate this in your run. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. I'm having, I'm having such fun doing these automation tutorials with you guys. Um, sorry it's been so long since I have tutorials out. I've had some stuff going in my life. But anyway, I'm back, ready to go with more awesome tutorials. So leave me a comment. Oh, excuse me. Do my spiel. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. It would be much appreciated. And if you're enjoying this episode or any other automation videos on my channel, hit that subscribe button, tick the bell notification icon so you don't miss the next automation update. And I'll catch you guys, as always, next time.